Gibson and Eleanor Courthouse completed a season of renovations to improve not only the physical grounds, but the environment also. Built in 1929, the Ford Estate and its grounds on the shores of Lake St. Clair continues to be visually stunning, but at nearly 90 years old, the Albert Kahn designed estate and Jens Jensen designed grounds were in need of a restoration and upgrade to serve the modern needs of the estate, which hosts tours, family activities, lectures, and events. The electrical system has uh, remained the same. So the original house had a powerhouse that uh, supplied power and heat and everything to the entire estate. And that system, 90 years old, really needed an upgrade. There was some uh, things that were, at the time, uh, as advanced as they came, but now, uh, 90 years on, uh, technology's changed quite a bit. So we spent the winter underground, piping in all new electrical service to the buildings, a uh, massive project, but because of the technologies now, uh, it had minimal impact on the landscape. Hidden. The irrigation system, if you're here in the off hours, you'll uh, notice uh, the new irrigation system running. And there is a pump house that uh, is state of the art, uh, that's over by the visitor center that you can walk past, but it's very unintrusive. So in this location before, it was just a small wooded lot. And now it's the termination point of all of the stormwater management where we put in 2,400 lineal feet of 30 inch and uh, smaller pipe. And at this point, it drains into a 30 foot deep wet well, and then is pumped into the bioswale. And the bioswale is intended to naturally filter the water with the oils and greases and sediment before it returns to Ford Cove, with the intent on making the water that leaves our site cleaner than the water that's in Ford Cove. Not only is the water flowing into Ford's Cove from the bioswale cleaner, the Cove itself now has greater circulation as the peninsula connecting the Gawkler Point mainland to Bird Island has been opened up with the installation of a bridge. Water now flows into the cove, which has reportedly attracted an increase in sea life, including turtles and ducks. The new 20-foot bridge, enhanced natural features, and native plants can be seen firsthand by kayakers who may paddle into the cove, but also by those who visit the Ford Estate during the free evening on the grounds from 5 to 8 p.m. Wednesday, July 8th for a grand reopening celebration and then throughout the year.